So what exactly is the zoo hypothesis and how does it relate to the Fermi paradox? Well, let's start with the Fermi paradox, which is named after Enrico Fermi and is to some extent based upon the thoughts about the Drake equation. Fermi and others are looking at the possibility of intelligent extraterrestrial life existing on other planets. And given that there are a lot of stars, even in the local part of the Milky Way, which are billions of years older than our sun, pose the question, where is everybody? In other words, why have we not been contacted by these intelligent life forms, seeing as how they've had far more time than us to develop space travel, advanced communication systems, and other methods of contacting life on other planets in our galaxy? Now, if you discount the UFO sightings and the conspiracy theories, alien life forms have remained notably absent from our solar system. So, in relation to the supposed Fermi paradox, we've developed a number of possible solutions to deal with this problem. It's included that space is just far too big, or that they became extinct before they made contact, or that aliens may not be interested in space travel or communications, or even that intelligent life is extremely rare. Now, some of these things are more likely than others, and some had some significant flaws. However, one intriguing possibility is known as the zoo hypothesis. The idea works in a similar way to the prime directive in Star Trek, except this time the Federation of the Aliens and we are the primitive developing race that contact with their advanced technology might damage our social and cultural development. The theory is that the aliens have fenced off our solar system from the rest of the galaxy like a zoo, not necessarily with a view to keeping us in, but more likely to keep others out. Now, there may be several reasons for doing this, including things like uh, preventing biological contamination, since bacteria and viruses traveling from one system to another could wipe out species which never before been exposed to them. They may be, tr be trying to prevent conflict between planets. They may be trying to prevent knowledge and technology and ideas we're not scientifically or culturally ready for and waiting until we are ready before exposing us to those ideas. It could even be subtly influencing and guiding our planet so it gradually becomes ready for the more advanced technology. Some people even point to our recent rapid scientific development as evidence of this. However, like all things, there are a number of problems with this hypothesis. For example, hiding all signs of intelligent alien life in the galaxy might be difficult as detecting things like electromagnetic signals may give away their existence. Also brings up the question of how many alien races are there out there, or are they just one? And whilst having a single alien race would easily allow the implementation of a zoo hypothesis, the Fermi paradox would suggest that there will be likely to be multiple alien races out there. This in turn would mean that the alien races would have to cooperate with each other in order to maintain the zoo. This could be by a veteran or a kind of first alien race setting down the rules to the other races. Or, alternatively, the aliens developed relatively equally, but can communicate with each other, share common goals and objectives, and also share common social values and priorities, which might mean that in order for any race of beings to develop interstellar travel, they also need to share some common positive traits, which might actually hold out some hope for humanity in this zoo after all.